Well, first to the story that almost had us falling out of our chairs today, a major scandal involving college admissions. Parents paid up to $6 million to either have test scores changed or to get their kids recruited as athletes, including Full House star Lori Loughlin and Desperate Housewife star Felicity Huffman. While it's mostly parents involved, coaches, test administrators, administrators, I should say, and the leader of a fake nonprofit made the scheme work for more than eight years. Federal agents in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Boston announced charges against 50 people. The schools named include Yale, UCLA, Stanford, Georgetown. The list goes on. They say the ringleader was William Rick Singer, who owned a college prep business. He allegedly charged parents between fifteen and seventy-five thousand dollars for someone else to take college entrance exams or to correct the scores, the answers, I should say. Court documents show other parents paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to designate their children as recruited athletes or other favored admissions categories. Agents say Singer used some of the $25 million in fees to bribe college officials, coaches, and the test admins. Talking about deception and fraud, fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. Now, none was aware of the scam, and to this point, uh, no students have been charged. And here in Washington, a nonprofit that helps low-income students get into college is hoping that this scandal can spark change. They say it is tough to see people of means get opportunities their students have to work harder to achieve. No, it's not fair. Our kids are, are trying to earn their opportunity, and then you have parents who are buying opportunity for their students. It's, it's already an unfair system, or it can be a challenging system. Yeah, the foundation added kids from high-income families are already five times more likely to graduate from college, which is why this hits so close to home. And personally, for me, it just made my stomach turn. As I read through those documents that authorities released, it just made me ick. It's all ego. It's parental ego. Yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. it would be one thing, I was saying this upstairs, it would be one thing if the kids were like, not that this would make it okay, but it would make it understandable if they were really bent on getting into USC or UCLA mm -hmm. or whatever, and they really wanted to study there and it was their dream school. But sure. I know, at least in the case of Lori, Lori Laughlin's mm -hmm. daughter, she even posted on Instagram, I don't want to be in college, I'm yeah. just here for the parties. She's and, one of those YouTuber influencers yeah. that everybody yeah. hears about, and yeah. I have a hot. question. So we know the parents are going to get in trouble, students probably as well. Do the colleges get in trouble who have done this in the past? That's interesting because... Yeah, they're going to have to be. I mean, you know if there's I mean? somebody on staff and there's there's like arrests being made today, mm -hmm. um, they're going to, yeah, this is the probably The coaches, assistant coaches, right. yeah. Some have already left the school because uh -huh. um, this investigation has been going on for some time. It's just sad because those were spots that could have been taken up by people who actually yeah. were awarded the position. And the FBI admits they, they found all this out by accident. It was a completely separate thing that they were investigating when some of these details surfaced and they went, oh, we got another oh, thing really? to uncover here. So. Oh.